Welcome to Video Workshop. I'm your host, Kiera Flack, and today we have a very special guest with us. You might know him from hit shows such as Devious Maids. I personally know him from Breaking My Heart in Marley and Me, but it's all fair. Um, we have actor Tom Irwin here at the University of Houston. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for asking me. Yes, we're so excited. Um, I know that this is your you don't really come to Houston often. You don't come to Texas often at all. And so um, not only to be in Houston, but to be on a college campus, has that been a little nostalgic for you? Nostalgic? Yes. Uh, like in going back to my own college days yes. or something like that? Um, you know, I, I, I teach acting and I've taught at various universities, mm -hmm. so I'm, I've been around campuses, you know. Mm -hmm. So is I'm it um, how is it being able to be around other young creatives? Is it um, kind of keep you motivated? Keep you sharp? Keep you inspired in a way? Yeah, I, I, I that's why I like teaching. I, I find myself talking about things that uh, uh, I may have forgotten about, or I need mm -hmm. to remind myself of in my own work. You know, mm -hmm. and, and I also get inspired by students when they have breakthroughs and, and, mm -hmm. and their enthusiasm. And I love working with the material. So. Yeah, and I know from the student's perspective, um, especially when you are pursuing a creative career, um, it's it's always just like a breath of fresh air to have someone who has done something along the lines of what it is that you're interested in, right. and you're kind of listening to them, and you're hoping that they say something that you can hold on to, and that you can grasp, and that'll like give you an aha moment and push you to to move forward so um, we really really appreciate your presence and even if you you could say something like my hat was red and somebody is like that's what I needed to hear I needed to hear my hat was red now I know this is what I need to pursue right and so um, for you when you were in that position um, did you need a lot of confirmations like hey this is really what I need this is what I'm doing acting this is the career that I, I need to pursue well when I was in school we, we, we were went to school in the Midwest, and uh, we didn't have, you know, working professionals really coming in mm -hmm. and talking to us. And uh, and so at our university, and a lot of them, you, you sort of learn in a in a bubble. You may get a great mm -hmm. education, but it may not be really connected to what's going on in the real world, and that can be kind of shocking once you get outside and, and, and into it. Mm -hmm. And so it's nice to have, you know, that introduction before you actually step ahead, into the world, you yeah. know. Did you go into your college education knowing clearly what it was that you wanted to do after college? Not at all. No. What did you think that you were interested in? I had I didn't I didn't think that I was interested. Okay. I, I mean I had no plan. Mm -hmm. I just uh, I wanted to take an acting class and I ended up getting a, a teacher that you know kind of became my mentor mm -hmm. and uh, got rewarded for for some of the work that I was doing. And then met some friends that we started a theater company in Chicago after we graduated. Mm -hmm. And so it was, uh, there was no like vision of what I wanted to be in the future. Right. You what about you? Do you have things. a vision of what you wanted to be in the future? Um, I have several visions of what I want to be in the future. And so it's kind of a trial and error thing of let's just figure out what it is that we want to do. Yeah. Um, and how long have you been here at the university? Too long. No, <laughs> I've been, I've kind of an, an extended undergrad career. Um, so I've been at U of H for four years. Previously, I went to school in Arkansas. Oh, really? And, Where? Um, Washita. Where's that? Arkadelphia. It's it's so small, really. Um, Where did really you grow quaint. up? In Houston. I'm from Houston, Oh, you are Texas. from Houston? Do you yes. have a family here? Um. I do. I have most of my family. All of my family is in Houston. How big is your family? Large. It's extremely. I mean, do you have like <laughs> do you have like brothers it. and sisters yeah, and so stuff? I have, How many? I have two younger brothers. Mm -hmm. Um, one of which has just accepted a full ride um, scholarship to the University of Miami mm -hmm. um, for football. And um, me and my brother are kind of trendsetters for my family as far as branching out. Mm -hmm. And so um, it is a big desire of mine to leave outside of Houston. And what do um, you? What do your brothers and sisters do? Are they also in sports? Production? They're in sports. No, they're like in sports. broadcasting or what? Um, uh, no, they're athletes so they're um, athletes really yes what my do they brothers do? play what football where 
at North Shore, are you from? Well, you're not familiar with much in Houston, but North no. Shore is like the powerhouse of football. Texas is, he, Texas is, he, is the powerhouse high, of football. High school football or high school football. Okay, yes, so are you the oldest in your family? I am the oldest. Okay. I like to call myself the second mom, and so. Oh really? Yes. Yeah, so um, my oh, cool. firstborn child will be going off to college pretty soon. I'm really excited. You about you have that. children? No, it's my brother. My brother. Oh, my oh, oh he's he's your, your firstborn. <laughs> yes, okay. he's my firstborn, okay. and so um, we kind of. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why am I interviewing you? You're interviewing me because I'm open and I'm transparent and oh, okay. I'm willing to answer and to listen and to respond. Oh, okay. And um, I'm actually interested in knowing what it is that you want to know about me. And it kind of gives me more of a perspective of what it is that you might be willing to share about well, yourself. What do you want to well. share about yourself? Um, I love to share that I'm interested in broadcast. I also love law. I also love sports. I love all of these things. Uh -huh. And um, it makes me really relatable to a, a wide variety of people. And um, so I'm able to connect to you through my interest in broadcast and my interest in communications and mm. things such as that. Okay, cool. Cool. And, and do you want to stay in the Houston area, or do you want to leave mm. Texas at some point? No, so um, I would like to leave Texas at some point. I know that you are from Illinois, mm -hmm. um, and with that being I wouldn't even mind going to Illinois. I just need to get out of Houston, yeah. um, but it's so much opportunity here, so I Where would be your dream? That. What would be your dream place um, to live? I don't have a dream place to live. I'm really open. Um, you know how it, being in college, you don't really come in with a, a solid plan. You just have a lot of desires, and whatever path leads you to the desire that you want the most, you take it. Uh -huh. And so um, kind of similar to your story with creating the company and going forth, like I'm pretty sure going into that, you didn't have a, a lot of answers as to what was next. You just right. know, like, hey, let me show up. Let me do the next intended thing and see where it takes me. Right. And I know for you, it took you to theater. And was yeah. that an original desire of yours to go into theater, or was it like maybe film, or what made you say? Well, hey, I was I'm a theater major, theater. so I was, you know, we didn't really have a, a television or film department, so I was taking, you know, mm -hmm. acting classes, theater classes. We were just working with material, dr with with um, uh, dramatic literature, and uh, and like I said, I met these people that we started a theater company, and so it wasn't until later, uh, after I'd moved to Chicago, that I ended up at, uh, you know branching off further into yeah picking up uh, television film work mm -hmm. that came through Chicago at first and then went to Los Angeles and worked there you and know I know it, theater Is it, it I mean have you ever been to Los Angeles um, I haven't I don't really have a desire for a Los Angeles no. either but what I about know New York have you been to New York no, I've never been to New York. You I have no my desire first, to go there either? My first trip that I, take, I took was um, actually out of the country. I've been out of the country more than I've been around inside of the country. Okay, and like where, so, where have you been? Um, I've been to London. I've been to Belize. I've been to, I'm trying to picture the stamps on my passport. I've been to Canada, um, Virgin Islands, uh, just a lot of traveling around. Has theater allowed you to travel around quite often? Uh, the, yeah, I've done theater in uh, Australia, uh, a few times in London, mm -hmm. um, and uh, then of course New York and different regional theaters around the country. And like one aspect of theater that I find um, really interesting, and um, I know that it's something that you've highlighted before, How is that- How did you get these photos? Are you, have you ever Googled yourself? Uh, <laughs> I, I may have, I suppose, yeah. It's super simple. We just, you can type in just about anyone, and yeah. I could probably get a photo. If you had a pet, I can get a photo of your pet if need be. The internet is. You is, can get a photo of my pet. If, if I needed one and you have a pet, I can grab a photo. Really? And you don't have to ask my permission? If it's on the internet, I can just grab it and post it. Really? Yes. Oh. Oh. Isn't that wild? Well, it is our wild. Phones, now, what if you put up a what if you put up a photo here that I don't like? Then, we, out of respect, we would take it off for you. Like you take you take to. it off now, or would when would you take it off? Like you would cut we it would, out of when before you air? No, we or? would take it off now because of course it might provoke you in some way. If you don't like it, we wouldn't want to conduct an interview such as that. Right. And so. Um, of, of course, we want you to feel welcome. We want you to, to understand that we love your presence, that we love you being here, that uh -huh. we're here to glean from you and grow from you. So we wouldn't want to keep a photo of such as that, you know? Right. So this will be edited afterwards, this program. And then, and then any photos that I don't want up, you'll take out. Yes, sir, we can. You can? Really? Yes, we can. Oh, okay. Is that okay with you? Well, yes. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I, I haven't I've seen any of them. I'm seeing them for the first time. Well, with... So with um, 
I know you have so much knowledge, and I know that uh, we could probably sit here for days and go on and pull gems <laughs> from you. Uh -huh. But is there anything that you would like to leave the students with um, as just a memorable moment or as a last bit of advice to pursue? I'm sorry, what's the question? Would you like to leave the students with a, a memorable advice? moment of what? Okay. Well, thank you all so much for <laughs> joining us today and video that, workshop. I'm sorry, that's all the time that we have. And uh, now, thank you so much, Mr. Tom Irwin, for being our guest. And we'd love to have you again, if at all possible. Thank you very much. Thank you.